children. You are not wearing. Need something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job.
No. No one back home will ever believe this. Can't slow down. <laughs> Greetings, citizen Fluffing. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Of course, of course. My steel watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. We shouldn't have any more trouble from the death. You can see in the flames, she's in the still here. What are they waiting for? Thing. you this time. Are they going to arrest us? What if they throw us in jail? All's well, but Calm then... Calm down, dear. No, not as bad as we could have. Pretend I'm a fist. Oh, I can't believe Grace that pizza. The it house. wasn't even hurt. Well, you're... This is the armory. Not a bloody open house. Fists only. Trick. This equipment isn't for sale. It belongs to the Flaming Fist. A trading license? Right, right. Yes. I could provide you with one of those for the, uh, official fee. Much appreciate it. Take a look around. Careful, I mind.
My faith protects me. Shall we continue? Keep a blade close. My faith will guide me. Can't afford to stay idle. Pleasure doing business. Are they going to arrest us? Why would they throw us in jail? Better. Calm down, dear. It won't happen, I swear. Oh, I can't bury Grace, that pits the are. He wasn't even hurt. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Hells. Not this again. Brain is resisting its orders. Without all three stones to control it, it will soon start acting on its own will. It's 
Except if you're a criminal. Oh, it's more than that. is expecting you. His name is written here too. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. The Steel Watch. Appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, but a moment. I must greet a most honored guest. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My Steel Watchers are eager watchdogs. For the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorm's, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. That prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. 
the Mind Flayer Empire reborn, if we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course, Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. It's not, but it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. The Crown's magic turned the brain into something the world has never seen. A nether brain. Its power is immense. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. The likes of you stand to benefit from the likes of me. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here, so the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods, we rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. An ally could be useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well... We can dispose of him then. What a shame to refuse the power of a god. Perhaps a demonstration. An ally could be useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well, we can dispose of him then. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you.
Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. Let me demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A shapeshifter? It could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is, where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherine Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their Absolute God. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Soon, first, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Then we proceed. The Patriarchs await. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash. Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gather guests. Grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. A spasm grips your chest. Your strength falters. An emptiness grows within you, Pallet.
Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. Your camp, who I... A doppelganger. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Before you do, come and witness, as I make history as the first Archduke. Then allow me to peek at Your brain twists and stretches under the Watcher's gaze. The pain almost brings you to your knees before fading. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. A spasm grips your chest. Your strength falters. An emptiness grows within you, Paladin. Broken your oath, Paladin. At the close of day, I will be. We have. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confident. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. What? Who I come... A shape shit? I mean, it's not me, but... The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Before you do, come and witness, as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. No! Those watchers are liable to turn us into cat food if we move a muscle. Sage advice. My steel watchers take unkindly to threats, no matter how hollow. You are of little use to me, dead. But dead is exactly what you will be if you arouse the ire of my steel watch. Then allow me to... Your brain twists and stretches under the Watcher's gaze. The pain almost... Br you will follow me. Distinguished Enver Gort... I swearest... I gathered guests. Don't. You will only invite his ire and your own death. My friend, and you... Time to press ahead. Oh, 
I'll give it a shot. the look in some of their eyes. The citizen is unconscious. He won't be waking up any... I used to think those things were going to make me feel safer. Not anymore. One blow! What, what did she even do? I bet nobody... God, this is the first time in 200 years I've seen these streets in the sunlight. You can forget just how much color there is in the world. Hmm? Yes, of course. Sorry, did you want something? I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it. 
Get in there! Really? I could have sworn you were an adventurer. You look like an adventurer, and you talk like an adventurer. So you must be an adventurer. No, I need them rats taken care of. Here's the deal. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You! Just down the stairs. There you find my own logics.
make it hurt. The wine cellar. There's a hidden door that leads further in. Breathe deep. The mechanism to open it is somewhere among the wine racks. on everything. On the other side, you'll find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. Interesting times. Darling. Sylvanus's blessings. No one stopped me yet.
Radio. No. Sylvanus, let me strike true. Impressive resistance, but futile.
blade close. Very well then. There is work to do. Let's see what we have here. Seems your report was good, Wargaz. Here you are, as brazen as described. The traitor who would steal from our queen. Of course you had help, didn't you? From the elithid you carry inside the astral prism. How quaint that we should meet here, in the very place that it once called home. We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. Most Elithids prefer to dominate their thralls through transformation. Yet here you stand, untransformed. Tell me, what did it offer you in exchange for your servitude? And you would trust an Elithid to do such a thing? I thought you said this one was smart, Wargaz. You have fallen prey to its manipulation. Your story ends here. We will reclaim the astral prism, purge it of the elithid interloper, and restore it to our queen. What are you doing? My dear Chuck, I will liberate you from your... Will Wargaz fail to kill you? I won't make the same mistake.
Something over there. Something over there. My old home. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. Hmm. My old sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. around in the filth. 
Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you and your little pet. Do you drown in despair already? <gasps> oh, but there's so much more to do. <laughs> Peel a fine pelt from the mud I caught, sniffing at your heels. Drag skin from flesh, from bone. <gasps> I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. <laughs> the murder lord does not need permission to kill. You are dull. A blunt blade unfit to flay. But you could be sharpened, thin and jagged. Yes, I will tell you what to do. You'd prefer my whispers in the tyrant's tongue, hmm? You've heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Cortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Trip train him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the Netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is balls. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Orin demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the Nether Stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and the child's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Allies? <laughs> Oh no, we had a balance. The chosen three. <laughs> but it tumbled when you turned the Bone Lord to ash. Now, Gortash tries to gouge me from the city. That festering inadequate thinks me a flesher, butchering and cleaving only to whip the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill him. Gore him like a pig prepped for the spit. Only then will you be sweet and sharp, ready for the murder lord's purpose. Need? No, no, no. I do not need. You are made of nothing. Meaningless flesh and bone I do not need. I offer. Ball's age approaches, and you could be there to see it. An idol of flesh made to welcome his bleeding dawn. 
There is time for you yet. Time to save. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the Tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> that is Baal's offer. He will not make another. Yes? And do not worry.
go and keep them safe. What do I think of Lord Gortash's still watch? Well, I am so glad you asked, Edgar. If you ask me, why don't you think Gortash even deserves to be called out of the world? That's enough of that. Well, I wouldn't say I'm certain, just... Shh. All right, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh, shit. We need to tell the flaming face to get this kid some help. And have them lock us up for two murders we didn't do. Yeah, we got to The broad she's gone to pot ever since I left. Awaken, little one. Flower and bloom as I know you can. Something rotten. Probably just a dead cat. The latest news is Maybe a few dead cats. Not for communal use, it seems. If I go by the biggest firework they have. Them pocket money for that. He's sick. I'm likely to die. Pressure steady. steady. Are we at temperature yet? Maintaining temperature. Steady at the moment. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And... A light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Falogir always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent! Now remember, Falogir's Fireworks accepts no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos or blown off heads. Now, you there, what can I do for you? You feel an all-too-familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. He has a tackle. Aha! A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the Absolute. I have a special sample, available just for you, if you wish. This one will be very useful against any and all enemies of Gortash. Be sure to be clear of its explosion area. Please enjoy responsibly. And nowhere near this establishment. Is there anything else I can do for you? Of course! And if it's not a firework, do... Employees only. Right. Have you tr Or perhaps the delicate simplicity of a perfectly crafted torch is more to your taste? Oh, heavens no! Not fabulously carrot. What are you really asking, friend of Gortash? Oh, well, see for yourself. Remember, and if it's not a... Uh, no. Have you, or perhaps the delicacy. 
Heavens no! I'm just the humble proprietor. Avery Sunshall, at your service. Descendant of the great Philogia Sunshall. But you can call me Philogia if you like. Help spread the brand, see? Of course! Browse responsibly now. Remember, once it, and if it's not a. Don't get in trouble, that's all. Ten. Good. Kids are gonna need a bit of time. No matter what happens. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Are we scheduled for maintenance? Just until he has somewhere better to go. Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Uh, not critical, it's just a bastard if it breaks. Steady. It won't blow us up. In a spillage of hell, picking my teeth out of the wood fields. Where's an apprentice when you need one? So what exactly is You don't have a pocket money for that. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Well, pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Maintaining temperature. Steady at the mark. I know you do, kid. I know. Might be useful. Entire edition dedicated to one lord and his metal toys. Gortash has got to be paying the mouth think fees. of the Gazette. Very, very quiet. 
Your Hello, Charlie. Figaro's is in this part of town. Steady. Oh, yeah. Steady. Oh, yeah. Steady. Steady. In the spinach oh, picking my teeth out of the roof beams. Where's the apprentice room? Are we at Let's be quick. <laughs> These things have stayed interesting. <laughs> These dudes have seen everything. <laughs> Seems like a good moment to talk. <laughs> Any torches, matches, wizards, or other sources of open flame, keep them unlit, please. There goes nothing. Pipes are looking a little rusted. Tempers are rising. Critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Loud. It won't blow us up. Don't touch me. Steady. Any spillage, and they'll be picking my teeth out of the roof beams. Where's an apprentice when you need one? Don't. Pressure steady. Eight. Are we at temperature yet? Good. All things. Maintaining temperature. Steady at the moment. Come on, listen to me. We've got you. No time to rest. Best be on my way. Steady. Steady. Well, hello. Where's an apprentice when you need one? Down. Eight, nine, ten. Gush. Now, all things are all right. Don't know, won't you? Pipes are looking a little rusty. We scheduled for maintenance. Can't afford a failure of a critical pipe. Not critical. It's just a bastard of a break. Let's see here. Not a sound.
Шадли. Let's get on with it. Okay, this way. Let's do that, please. Calm and quiet, that's the way. Need to press onward. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Let's try this way. Trump. Be useful. work to do. Unseen. Perfect. Steady. Steady. Any spillage and they'll be picking my teeth out of the wolf beams. Where's the friend to change out his barrels? He stumped out this bastard. Eh? I am ready. Schedule for me. At once. Steady. 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 Critical pipe. Any spillage. Mm, and not a critical. Pipe. Just a bastard if it breaks. Down I go. As an apprentice when you need one. Yes. The very spot.
said. Another step forward. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Don't waste a step. Seems simple enough.
say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without guile, without pretense. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together, but few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you, your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. Perhaps, at first. I did consider that you were just a problem to be solved. And not an easy one at that. But I persisted. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy your company. against the Elder Brain. Think on it. 